Hi everybody, this is the California Fire Update. I have still been unable to find any news regarding the Thomas Fire, any new news, but I came across this, the latest all but one evacuation lifted at California Fire. So I thought, wow, very, very good news. This posted at 10 a.m. this morning. All evacuations have been canceled around the smoldering remnants of Southern California's huge wildfire, except for one remote wilderness valley, Rose Valley. It's in the mountains of neighboring Ventura County, where there is a gun club and a ranch, but little else. Okay, good news. The Thomas Fire apparently is just smoldering remnants, right? Remnants. You would think that it would be now like 90% contained. But no, I've heard it is anywhere from 50 to 60% contained. Interesting, as I was trying to get updated information, I got this email from a Southern California subscriber who has family, parents in Carpinteria. She went down to Carpinteria to help out her family Carpinteria in Southern California was one of the areas that uh, they had some evacuations there, but this is what she writes. What's very odd to us is the fact that there was a sudden, and I mean sudden, stoppage of news on the fire from our local TV stations. Their websites cover it, but it's very strange that all of a sudden there was no news about the fire, yet their websites state they hope to have the fire contained by the first week of January. Huh? KSBY also reported online that they were sending hundreds of firefighters home for the holidays. So you would think if they're sending firefighters home for the holidays that it would be 90% contained. 80% contained. But it's not going to be contained until the first week of January. In fact, Fox News reported it will not be contained until the 7th of January. Right now, California firefighters getting extra help battling one of the largest wildfires in state history. Crews taking advantage of lighter winds for a second day as the massive Thomas fire is now about 50% contained. The fire burning in Ventura and Santa Barbara counties has destroyed more than a thousand homes and other structures. We've lived here for many, many years and we expect it. So I it's, it's, sad, it's sad, of course, for the people who lose their homes and the firefighter lost their life, definitely. And the businesses, too, sure. are suffering. Well, officials think the Thomas Fire will keep spreading to become the largest in state history before full containment. That's expected by January 7th. That's expected by January 7th. And they expect this fire to continue to spread. But they're sending firefighters home for the holidays. The numbers. The numbers, according to CNN, are the same as the numbers that were reported by mainstream media about a week and a half ago. Thomas Fire has been going on for two and a half weeks. But they're sending the firefighters home for the holidays and they don't expect to have it fully contained by the first week in January. So this posted about 22 hours ago. The figures are the same as they have been for days. In fact, some figures are the exact same as they have been for a week and a half. 18,000 structures threatened. 1,000 structures destroyed. Nearly 6,000 firefighters. 85,000 power outages. 95,000 evacuees. This year has been the costliest for wildfires in the United States history. $10 billion. But just learned that there's another fire in Riverside County. A brush fire has started in Riverside County. 
Weather Channel. Can't listen to these people. They disgust me. So, let's watch this video. This is Riverside. It just broke out this morning. It's spreading rapidly. So, no firefighters on the scene. Seems to have been, well, based on all of the smoke that you see, it's been going on for a while, but I guess the firefighters are going home for the holidays. A brush fire. I read in some article that it was started next to a Boy Scout camp. China News. New China TV. Strengthening winds threaten to worsen California wildfire. That was just yesterday. Strengthening winds, again. And they're sending firefighters home. I can barely talk. This France 24 English. Same news as every other mainstream media, either cable news, or network news, or their articles posted. Same figures. It's um, maddening that nothing seems to change. This is an important video posted on DIY Camper, and I will link below to this video. Oh, hi, you guys. I uh, wanted to make this video uh, for one simple reason. I've been covering this fire for just about two weeks now. I guess is how long it's been burning. These various fires, the Thomas being the largest of the fires. And I wanted to do this video because nobody else that I could find is talking about it. And while everybody is looking at the structures and the vehicles and the properties and the businesses and all the destruction of these wildfires, I'm looking at something else. I'm looking at how clean the streets and roads are in these totally burned out neighborhoods. How is it that a raging so-called wildfire fueled by Santa Ana winds that are blowing in excess of, and I've heard several reports of wind speeds from anywhere from as low as 35 mile per hour, all the way up to 85 mile per hour on up. I've even heard people talk about hurricane force winds. Well, anybody that's been in a hurricane knows that those speeds of winds blow crap all over the place. I mean, hurricanes will blow large boats right into the roads, flip vehicles over. A lot of people saying that the flipped vehicles in these fires are due to the winds, yet the, the streets of these burned out neighborhoods and plazas and parking lots and dead end turnaround loops are as clean as if a van load of circus monkeys jumped out with brooms and leaf blowers and clean the entire streets throughout these burned out neighborhoods. Now, if you're having winds that extreme with homes burnt to the ground, where are all the embers? Where is all the ash? Where is all the debris? Where is all the garbage cans and the down tree limbs and the garbage and the junk and everything blown into the streets? I don't see it. California streets are 
mighty tidy and very clean, almost pristine, you could say. I don't see any debris in any photos that I search under Google Images anywhere, anywhere. And these photos speak volumes. I see no debris in the roads at all. There should be all kinds of crap in the roads and in the streets and in the parking lots and in driveways. If the winds are so great blowing these massive fires out of control, where is all the debris from these massive piles of burned out homes? I mean, look at the photo of this woman. This homeowner obviously lost her home and she's looking over the devastation of what she lost. But notice how nice and clean her walkway is and her patio and how neatly the stones of the edging along the concrete sidewalk is so tidy. Not a single speck of anything on that sidewalk. Okay, so I will link below. You can watch the end of this video and uh, DIY Camper has been posting a lot on these fires, so I recommend that you subscribe to his channel. And he has said it all. Highly unusual that the streets and these walkways are pristine. And the complete, complete destruction of all of these homes leveled. So the massive Tom's fire has been devastating for California farmers. And one has to uh, wonder if that is the point of letting these fires continue on. California's gigantic and dangerous Thomas Fire has burned an incredible amount of pure acreage while immediately endangering the homes and lives of many folks from Santa Barbara down past Ventura and Santa Paula. But as the LA Times points out, the fire's effects on the agricultural industry could be much worse and longer lasting still. So, are we going to see FEMA go in and buy up all of this farmland in Southern California? Pennies on a dollar? Perhaps. Homes damaged by Riverside Fire that's blamed on vehicle theft suspect. I didn't know this. I just came across this article. This was the earlier Riverside Fire that was December 4, December 5. Now we have another Riverside Fire that is spreading quickly. But this wildfire allegedly set by a vehicle theft suspect and then fanned by the 40 mile per hour Santa Ana winds that you it's very rare to get them in December but they do not last for two and a half weeks and you're still getting high winds. This guy apparently he stole a car he was chased by the police and he then, to get away from the police, torched the stolen vehicle and some vegetation as he tried to get away from the sheriff's deputy. That's right. So he's getting away from the sheriff's deputy. And then, what, he torched the stolen vehicle because he didn't want any fingerprints in the vehicle? What did he have to torch that vehicle? Oh, a match. Okay. Yes, I question all of these um, reasons for these fires. Have they even come up with any of the causes for the Northern California fires yet? Here, listen to this. Just days before Christmas, state lawmakers are trying to put out fires, this time cracking down on insurance companies who some say are bailing on homeowners in wildfire-prone areas. Putting at risk the California dream. So we are doing something about that. While lawmakers are pushing a new wildfire bill that would prevent insurance companies from canceling fire policies, but the insurance industry says those regulations could end up putting them out of business. 
Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Sharon Roger. And I'm Curtis Bing. So could the wildfire bill end up hurting you as these insurance companies suggest? CBS 13's Lamore Abrams is here now getting answers. Lamore. Curtis and Sharon insurance companies say this bill makes no sense. They say forcing them to insure certain people would only drive them out of the state. But one homeowner we talked to says insurance are, insurers are already abandoning Californians. And it's um, a scary thing each summer when it's, you know, that time of year that you have that ID. Each summer when it's that time of year. But now, well, Jerry Brown told you it's going to be year long and you're going to see more frequent, fly uh, frequent flyers, frequent fires because of climate change. In mind, you know, you see the wind come up in the afternoon and it's a hot day. It's scary. Their house in the foothills of Placer County is located in a high fire zone. But Sarah and Tom Fugate say their property carries a low fire risk. In addition to keeping the local premises free, uh, we also have a house that's 95% stone. They say that design and defensible space has kept their house from burning down. But it hasn't stopped their insurance provider from canceling their policy after 15 years. This is going to be a problem that's going to continue to persist. Senator Ricardo Lara says he's heard from hundreds of homeowners like the Fugates. Their insurance companies bailing on them. Now he's proposing legislation that bans those insurers from denying coverage in disaster areas. What we see or could see is insurance companies no longer writing in the state. Cara Cross represents insurance companies. She says they won't stay in California if it doesn't pay off for them. If they're not able to be responsible to all consumers and be solvent, then you're not going to have as much insurance in the state. Essentially, that's what's happening now. What happens is people are already being relegated to secondary insurance products, which don't have the same protections that we have here in California. And by virtue of my zip code. That's what happened to the few gates. They've since found a new homeowner insurance company, but... There's a catch. Twice the, the cost. Their premium is 45% higher than what they previously paid. Okay, flood insurance, much higher. Fire insurance, much higher. Or you just get canceled outright. What's going to happen if insurance companies decide not to cover, not to issue fire insurance policies. FEMA? Will FEMA create another national program like they did with the National Flood Insurance Program where they can rip off consumers and the insurance companies in California? They'll take the premium, they'll issue the policy and they'll take a third of the premium and send two-thirds off to FEMA? Is this what we are looking at? Perhaps. And here, <laughs> FEMA, man, internal watchdog to probe FEMA contracts to tiny firm. <clears throat> so there was a firm in uh, Florida that did not have the experience to cover what it needed to cover in terms of providing uh, uh, help to victims of Hurricane Irma in Puerto Rico. But FEMA apparently gave this firm $30 million. That's your taxpayer money. $30 million for desperately needed disaster relief supplies in Puerto Rico. And guess what? They didn't get their supplies. Their supplies were um, tents, <coughs> excuse me, I'm sorry, tents, tarps, temporary roofing supplies that they desperately needed. So, did FEMA want to enrich this person in Florida because that's how that's how government rolls and the latest that I've heard is insurance companies have private firefighters they dispatched private firefighters in California 
And according to this article, those private firefighters were dispatched to those homes that had insurance through that insurance company and they didn't even have to pay any extra on their premium. They dispatched 11 trucks which carried two fighter fires each to 500 homes in Santa Barbara and Ventura counties. That's interesting. Private security, private firefighters, private police. All right, guys, if you have any information that is different from what we are hearing, please leave a comment below, leave links below. But these fires, I'm telling you, what's happening in Southern California is getting very, very concerning, considering that these fires continue to rage on, strengthening winds. We now have another fire in uh, Riverside County. Firefighters going home and still the same figures. So we don't really know how many homes were burned and what is happening to all those who have been evacuated. You know, it's the day of the iPhone. It's the day of the smartphone. It's the day where you have people taking pictures and videoing everything. And I haven't seen much come out. So if you're coming across those YouTube videos, please let us all know. But now every event, what happens low?